Welcome back. Utah Jazz head coach Quinn Snyder had this to say about James Harden. Quote, there's no better player in the league. He even added that, quote, it's not something that even needs to be discussed or debated. That's something we've known here in Houston for quite some time and something we hope to see on full display tomorrow night against the Jazz. Here's Adam Wexler with more. When the Rockets and Jazz met last year in the postseason, there was a 17-win difference between Houston and fifth-seeded Utah. This season, there's just a three-win difference between Houston and fifth-seeded Utah. Of course, known for their defense, Coach D'Antoni on the key to that Jazz defense. Go Bears, you start there. Um, very disciplined, uh, smart players, uh, and then you have the ultimate uh, rim protector. The Jazz are also capable of forcing teams to do things that they don't want to do. Quinn does a great job of having a philosophy of what they want to give up, what, what they're trying to make you do. And if you do what they try to make you do, then you can be in trouble because they're that good. In the time off the Rockets have had to prepare for the Jazz, a common theme has emerged about the team they're up against. Uh, they play hard. They're, they're very well coached. They just play hard. They're very well coached. And um, they shoot the ball really well. A cliche, maybe, but also accurate. It'll be up to the Rockets to dictate the way these games are played. Our biggest thing, I think, is our pace. And if we can uh, attack more earlier than later. Uh, anytime we slow it down against them, that's what they want. With the Rockets, Adam Wexler, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports. Thank you, Wex. Well, the weather has been getting in the way of several sporting events over the weekend, including Rice's spring football game. A bit of a weather delay over at Rice Stadium, but they did eventually get started, get underway, just wrapped up. This is head coach Mike Bloomgren in his second spring now, leading with the Owls. Offense started strong. Wiley Green with the long TD pass down the sideline to Aaron Cephas, who took it in. But the great defense made plays too. Green picked off by Deshaun Newsom. It would actually be the defense, the great team, that would win it 48-14. to Tonight at 10, we'll hear from Bloomgren how he thinks his guys look as they wrap up spring ball here. Round three of the Masters today. Big story was the play of Tiger Woods, who gave himself a chance after this round. Shot five under par, 67 today, now tied for second. He's definitely in the hunt, just two shots off the lead, putting himself in position to win a 15th major championship. Now Tiger has not won a major title since the 2008 U.S. Open. And the Dynamo hosting at the San Jose Earthquakes today. 60th minute, a 1-1 tie until Tomas Martinez. Check it out, the left foot for the goal, beating San Jose 2-1. That is the fourth win in a row for the Dynamo, who are 4-1-0 and now, so that's 13 points through five games. Now over to the high school soccer field. Boys 5A soccer playoffs, Sharpston and Kingwood Park. Sharpston with the one goal lead until this nice goal from Kingwood Park that would tie it. But second half here, Sharpston offense proved just to be too much. Elise Reyes with the goal, just one of the two that they would add in the second half to win it 4-3 and advance. And on the girls' side, Tompkins taking on Kingwood. Skylar Parker with the free kick here for Tompkins, looking to take a two-goal lead right past the goalkeeper. That's in 3-1 Tompkins League. But Kingwood doesn't go away without a fight. Later, Kingwood sets up the perfect corner kick. They tap it in to make it 3-2, which would be the final. So it is Katie Tompkins advancing. All right. A lot of outdoor Super sports season. dealing with the weather, too. Yeah. Yeah. Dynamo were in a delay, and glad they got going, though. For Glad sure. Got the win. All right. Thanks, Lainey. Back in a moment. So are we done with the storms in our area? We are done with the storms in our area. This all shifts eastward uh, into the deep south and obviously moving its way over towards uh, Georgia as we get towards tomorrow and, and then up the east coast as well. So for tomorrow, we're going to start off in the upper 40s, probably get up to around 68 to 72. Lots of sunshine. This is going to be one of those last nice cool mornings. It's getting lit, getting deep into April, everybody. Summer <laughs> is on. Yeah, on so us. at least tomorrow, Blue Bonnet Festival should be no problems nice. at all. And of course, we'll watch that uh, system on Wednesday. All right, we'll keep eyes on it. Thanks a lot, Justin. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again tonight at 10. Remember, we break news on clicktohouston.com.